That's Monday, April 25th, 2022. And I'm taking a hike today in Red Rock Canyon open space. You can see I'm in Colorado Springs. There's Highway 24 down there. And across the way is Garden of the Gods, which is kind of the sister park to this park. Had a bit of snow last night, still evident on the mountains. Wasn't much, just a dusting. And I'm on Codell Trail, I believe, if I remember correctly, without looking it up. In Red Rock Canyon open space. Pikes Peak is hiding in the clouds today. That's where Pikes Peak would be. From this vantage point on Codell Trail, you can also see some of the uh, ponds that was built by the Bach family. John Bach bought the property in the early 1900s. Once it was no longer valuable for sandstone and that's when the Bach family bought the property and started trying to improve it. John Bach did a lot to try to improve the uh, the water erosion and he constructed some of the earliest trails. Well, these rocks look like someone just combed them with a comb. <laughs> All these serrations, pretty unique looking. First time I've seen this, I've been in this park a few times, but never taken this trail, the Codell Trail. This is pretty cool. <laughs> It still looks like sandstone, but it's losing its its red color. Very interesting though, all the serrations through the rock. Even here, it's even more pronounced. Huh. And you get almost perfect patterns like this. It starts to have a stacked or a man-made look. <laughs> or maybe that's just my perception. Very cool though. And there's two cuts started in the rock. And I guess they stopped the quarry activity before they cut any deeper. There's two distinctive cuts that you can see through. It's hard to hold it steady zoomed in so much. And you can get a much better look too at the actual mining activity, the quarry activity. It's kind of ugly. It's, <laughs> I mean, when you're up close, it looks pretty cool, almost like the pyramids, the way it stair steps, but kind of ugly what we did to these rocks There's a little baby deer right there. His two siblings are nearby.
Sounds like they're asking a question. I don't know what I should say. What What is the answer? Coming up upon some of the main quarry activity that occurred in the late 1800s. And the blocks that were cut out of this, they were six feet by seven feet by ten feet. Each one weighing 25 tons. <laughs> And a lot of it uh, went into the construction of local buildings at the time. Because the nearest, probably the nearest place to get any kind of building material was probably near the Mississippi <laughs> at that time. So it was a lot easier just to cut it from the stone that was right here. And there's even... Even the small staircase left that I'm sure the miners used to use. And I read they would make the initial cuts to form the block and then pry it loose basically with metal crowbars. All 25 tons of it. And on one hand, it's kind of cool. It has a Egyptian pyramid feel to it. And in that respect, it's kind of cool. But what they did to the rock, the natural formation, that's not cool. <laughs> to think I'm standing in a spot that was once filled in with solid sandstone. You can see the that used to connect with that and it used to be solid rock in between. Just what I wanted for my audio, the sound of a jet engine. Here's one of my favorite spots in the park. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find it because it's been like 17 years since I've stood here. But it's atop a pretty steep hill which keeps some of the people away. <laughs> There's a large, gentle slope here that turns into a straight drop. You can even see the water cut, the path that water takes whenever we get rains.
is one of two uh, quarry drainage ponds. There used to be only one. It was uh, on the other side of this ridge near that large formation. But we had a uh, record rainfall in 2015 and I think that's what filled this section in. And technically we're in a drought. We've been in a drought for a long time. So the fact that this pond even exists shows that John Bach did a good job of his uh, water drainage system that he built here when he bought the park. You can see there's an area where you can walk your dogs off the leash. It's fenced in for that purpose. And they have another small attraction. It's the young people will like. It's a free ride area. And you, you jump at your own risk <laughs> here at the free ride area. But there's lots of little hills and ramps of varying grades. Some are steep, some are just little mounds. You could get some air on that one. And you could start at the top of this hill. Double. And the area I just filmed at the top of the hill empties downhill into a more ground level jump site for bicycles. See, this doesn't have as, as steep as jumps as the other one does. It's a little closer to the... With a little different technical challenges, more based on boardwalks and seesaws. <laughs> so you can take your pick. You can ride the boardwalks and the seesaw, or you can go up the hill and do the jumping.